In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the downstream O2 sensors on this Ford F-150 with a 5.4 liter engine. Keep in mind, the location of the O2 sensors will probably be different for the other engines provided with this truck. If you need this or any other parts, check us out at oneauto.com. Let's get started. Let's get the O2 sensors disconnected. I'm going to start with the driver's side downstream O2 sensor. Follow the wire and you'll see the connector all the way up there. It's that green connector and to unplug it, if you just reach for the harness, there's going to be a tab on the uh, front side of it. Squeeze that tab and pull the connector out. Might be a little stuck in here from sand buildup over time. There we go. Shake all that sand out of there. Let's get this resecured. There we go. All right. Now we can move on. Follow it and unclip it from this retainer. Free up the wire. And now let's remove it off of the pipe. To do this, you may need to apply some heat. We'll see if that's the case. Hopefully not. But the reason I disconnected it first is so that once we break it free and it can spin, we can continue removing it without twisting up that wire so we can reuse the sensor. You can take this off with several different tools. I recommend one of these crow's foot oxygen sensor sockets. They are the best for gripping on and providing you with enough space to work. You can use a regular tubular oxygen sensor socket. You could even use a wrench. 22 millimeter is what fits here. But like I said, this is more likely to get a, a nice tight grip on it. Make sure that this sits perfectly on this O2 sensor. And now, let's try to break it free. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this socket off and you can either use an induction heater or a little torch. I'm gonna use a little torch and I'm going to heat up the base of it where it threads into the pipe right here. I want to expand these threads. I'm going to apply heat right here. Hopefully that'll get it out. all the way out at this point. There it is. Drop this down. I'm going to get my socket off of here. Now do the same to the passenger side. On the side of the transmission here, on the passenger side, you can disconnect the downstream. Also green just like the other one. Because of this shield, I can't get a socket on here on this one. I'm going to try and get a wrench on this lower one. Not guaranteed that it's going to happen. If I can't break this free with a wrench, I'm going to just take the exhaust pipe down with the sensor and then take it off when the exhaust pipe is on the bench. The reason for this is this shield here won't allow me to get my oxygen sensor socket on. Oh, okay. Well, this doesn't always happen, especially since on the other side we have to use heat, but looks like it broke free, so that's a score. So in that case, I can remove it now. This is a 22 millimeter wrench, by the way. I know I twisted the wires a little bit, but it's not bad. I didn't rip them out or anything. There's the passenger side downstream. Now let's get the downstream O2 sensor in on the passenger side catalytic converter. A little tight in here, but you can reach it. Also, a side note, you should put some uh, anti-seize on the threads of the sensor. This will allow it to come off a lot easier next time. There we go. Try to make sure it's actually starting in properly. All right, that just bottomed out. Let's grab the wrench. It's a 22 millimeter and make sure it's nice and tight. snugged up properly. Let's get the downstream O2 sensor plugged in. That was this, this green connector. Make sure it clicks and re-secure it up here 
on this container. Now let's get the downstream O2 sensor in on the driver's side, clean up the threads if necessary, but definitely apply some anti-seize. I applied some copper anti-seize, doesn't matter what kind it is, but you wanna make sure you don't get it on the sensor part, just on the threads. This will allow it to hopefully not seize on here in the future. There we go, that's bottomed out nicely. Let's grab a 22 millimeter wrench, or you can use the oxygen sensor socket, whatever you prefer. But when it comes to tightening, it doesn't have to be crazy tight. It just has to get nice and snug in here. There we go. That's all I'm going to do. That one was a very silent click, but it did click. Those are both plugged in. Perfect. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our latest content. Thanks for watching.